I slipped off a couple times. Today I'm going to review the Aerial Plus sleeping pad from REI. So I'm gonna talk about the things I like and don't like about it. Let's do it. So I originally got this sleeping pad for car camping, but I plan on taking it for backpacking as well, since that's what a uh, packaging originally says that it's for. I got the long version of the sleeping pad because they do have the short version, the regular version, and then the long uh, version. And I'm 6'1". So the sleeping pad does weigh one pound 11 ounces. The sleeping pad in the sack uh, measures six and a half inches by 11 inches. To compare it to a water bottle, that's a comparison. Again, it's it's not incredibly big, but at the same time, it's not incredibly small, at least compared to some of the other sleeping, bad, sleeping pads that are out there. So fully extended, since it's the long version, it does measure 78 inches by 25 inches, and then the thickness is an uh, inch and a half. Um, the sleeping pad has an R value of 3.3, so it's made more for cool weather. A lower R value would be more for like the summertime, and a higher R value, closer to 5, is more for colder weather. The sleeping pad is a self-inflatable sleeping pad, although that's not all true since you do have to um, uh, blow some air into it and help inflate it itself so it's fully inflated when you're ready to sleep on it. Let's get into the things that I like and don't like about the sleeping pad. It was pretty fast to inflate, I would say. The price, I don't think it's uh, incredibly expensive compared to some of its rivals. I mean, I think it's on the, the lower end. It was $99.95 without taxes. So I'm a back sleeper myself. I found it pretty comfortable. That's definitely one thing that I like about this sleeping pad. Um, another one, it's packable. It's not too big. Personally, I don't think it's too big. It'll definitely fit. It definitely fits in my backpacking bag. Now, for the things that I don't like about it, I really don't think that the uh, rails that it has once you inflate it offer any support whatsoever. I mean, I rolled off of it. I'm not much of a person that moves a lot during his sleep, but it felt pretty slippery and I slipped off a couple times. I don't think it's wide enough. I'm 6'1". 210 pounds and I feel it could be a little bit wider when I rolled onto my side and tried sleeping on my side I didn't find it too comfortable recently the time I used it was in a 98 degree weather and I found it to be pretty warm again the R value is 3.3 but it was like 95 degrees in the afternoon or late at night and I think it was a little too warm for my liking. Uh, and that's that I wasn't in, in a sleeping bag. I was just laying on the sleeping bag itself. The self-inflating part is, again, it's pretty slow. You have to kind of give it a little push, uh, a couple blows in order for it to um, fully inflate. But that definitely the one thing I don't like about the sleeping pad is when it's time to put it away. I find it a little annoying how you have to, maybe, you know, it's just me, I'm being a little picky. That you have to uh, roll in the air rails. You gotta make sure the little um, valve, if it's just you, the little valve is uh, hinged so the air starts pretty much getting pushed out of the sleeping pad. If not, well, if the valve stays uh, closed, yeah. then it starts inflating again and it's just kind of a hassle to um, roll it back up. So that's my honest review for the Air Rail Plus sleeping pad from REI. If you guys have any questions, write them down below and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. Thank you.